everyone, it's Cleo here, and today I'm going to be showing you a haul of LPS I bought on eBay. Here we go! Okay, so first up I have this LPS finishing line and a podium, which could be pretty cool for a video. I haven't got any ideas for it yet, but I'm sure I will have in the future. First up I have this poor little beaver who clearly used to be flocked, but most of the flocking has come off, so I'll have to try and find a way to remove it all to get him back to his former glory. He's quite an unusual kind of pinky brownish colour, and he's got turquoisey eyes, little teardrop shapes in them, darker tail, and some blonde hair on top of him. He's really cute, he's actually my first G2 beaver. Next up, there's this really pretty pinky purple short-haired cat. She's got little stars in her eyes, they're brown, she's got a little brown nose, and then she's got little purple markings down her face here, a darker purple ear and stripes going down her back and tail, darker paws. Now, I actually do already have this pet, but this one, is free of neck rust, so there's a bonus with this one. Originally, that cat came in a two-pack with this dog, which I also got in the same haul, but I've already accessorized her. As you can see, she's a really light beige color with very slightly darker markings on her ears, and on her paws, and on her little tail, and her little nose. This one is in minty mint condition and also has stars in her eyes, and she's also got pink eyes to match the cat, because as you can see, the cat has brown eyes to match the dog, and the dog has pink eyes to match the cat, which I think is so cute! Isn't that adorable? They're just such a pretty little set. Next up we have this little pinky piggy. He's really quite simple, being a warm pink. And then he's got dark pink ears, tail and feet. Got turquoisey colour eyes, no particular shape there. He's just cute and very simple and I really like him. Next up we have this almightily strange looking G3 horse. It's orange with pinkish red tail and mane and hooves and bright green eyes and my god does that look odd I'm sure there's somebody out there who likes them but I can see why they weren't all that popular it doesn't even have a bobble in its head not really feeling that one but it's still an LPS so it's still in the hall next up I have this little white and brown husky he is so super duper cute, he's got icy blue eyes, a grey nose, and then he's got brown gradient down his white body, and a dark brown head here that goes down into white around his face, and there's a gradient round the back there. He is just so adorable, look at his chubby little legs. Look at him, he's just adorable. He's even got a little paw. Next up we have this really cute little sheep, which is white wool and the grey fur around its face, a little pinky nose, pink bow here, pink in its ears. Unfortunately, there is a little green mark on here, but hopefully I'll be able to get that off. She's got kind of lavender blue eyes and little teardrop shapes in her eyes as well. It's so cute. Natural fact, I thought this was the same one as the pet I already have, this one, but it's not. It is, in fact, a different pet. It's just extremely similar. Next up we have this extremely bright yellow G4 giraffe, who I'm also not really feeling, but he's doing a bit better than the horse in my estimation. As I said, he's a super bright yellow with really bright orange mane going on here, and hooves and tail, markings down his back, and uh, that's him. He doesn't stand up very well because his head is so heavy. But I've seen worse, he's not my favourite. I have seen worse, like that horse. Here are some fakey brats pets, and I really can't tell what animals they're supposed to be. I'm thinking this might be an otter, and this one a hamster, but I have no idea. Next up I have this chocolate brown bulldog. She's got really pretty violet eyes, more teardrop shapes in them, and she's got dark brown on her paws, her tummy, and up her head here, and on her little nose. The bulldogs aren't my favourite, but I do really like the colours. Next up I have this really quite simple little grey chinchilla. I do already have this pet, but we're going to discuss this one anyway. As I said, he's just a simple grey. He's got a white gradient going up here, little pink paws, pink in his ears, and he's got chocolate brown eyes. Very, very, very cute. Next up I have this G3 fox, who's a very warm, slightly reddish brown colour, with violet eyes, little turquoise flower on its head, and unfortunately, no tail! There is no tail to be seen, it's completely broken off. Which is a bit of a shame, because this one is quite cute, even if it has got pegs for legs. Next up I have this super cute little ladybird. Look how adorable it is. It's a base of a slightly pinkish red colour. It's got a pink face, pink little feet, dark colour body, and then it's got little signature black dots on its wings, which is just so adorable. Look at its little face. It looks like a little baby one. I love it. Next up I have a G3 cat who's in a warm beige colour with a little pink star on its head, 
got really pretty colour eyes and I like its face but its little peg legs look kind of weird and its head doesn't bobble which is a shame. Next up I have this really cute little grey bunny. It's got tan colour feet, a little tuft of fur here and on its head and a little tufty tail. Unfortunately there are some little pink marks on it which I'm sure will not come out. I'll just have to learn to live with those. Very unusually this pet has grey eyes and it's got loads of eyelashes and a little peachy bow. It's super cute. Next up is this G4 Purple Gorilla. Very unusual. This is my very first gorilla pet. I'm pretty sure I did not make gorillas in G2. This might very well be the only gorilla pet. As I said, it's purple. It's got lilac around its face, its hands, and its little tummy. And then it's a kind of greeny gray eyes. Unusual. Not sure how I feel about this pet, but a gorilla is a gorilla. Very important. Next up I have this beautiful little horse. Look how pretty it is. It's a really soft brown colour with beige highlights going around its face here, on its ears and its hooves. It's got a bright pink saddle and the most beautiful kind of berry coloured mane and tail. I love it. And it's got really bright green eyes. I think it's so pretty this pet. And then here we have a G4 Collie. I think its body is quite a nice shape but I'm not really feeling its eyes. It doesn't really doesn't look very cute to me. It's okay, but it's not my favourite. It doesn't look as nice to me as the G2 Collies. It's a very kind of aubergine purple with white highlights going on, and it's got yellow-green eyes. Pretty cool colour scheme. Next we have one of my main reasons for buying this bundle. This beautiful little ferret who looks to me more like an ermine. Here's one. Isn't it gorgeous? It's a lovely light blue colour. Look, light blue grading going along here, and then it's kind of a more grey-white at the back there. It's got lavender blue going on its tail and its feet, bright pink nose and bright pink in the ears. And then it's got kind of greyish green eyes, more little teardrop shapes there. It's so, so cute. I love the ferret so much. I've also got this blonde little rabbit who I've accessorised with a crown and little ice cream cone earrings. She's a really soft buttermilk colour and then she's got bright pink in her hair here on her tuft. And then she's got one foot pink and one foot white. She's got a white splodge over her eye and a white splodge on this ear, a bright pink tail, and look at that little face, she is so cute, and she's got brown eyes as well, which is quite unusual for an LPS, I really 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 love this one. I also got this blonde short haired cat with the pink pink splodges on it, it's got a nice little brown gradient going up its nose and its tail and its legs, bright blue eyes with little pink splodge marks in them, and unfortunately its nose is a little bit scuffed, but it's no less cute for it. Last but not least, I have the strangest pet ever. Look at it. What happened to this cat? What happened to it? Anyway, that's it for this haul. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for lots of fun new videos every week. Thanks for watching.